Hey guys, Dr. Daphne Lim, board certified dermatologist. Today we'll be talking about azelic acid, its uses, its concentration, how to apply it, the pros and cons, and what it can be used for. My name is Davin Lim, I'm a dermatologist in Australia. Uh, today's video will be a very quick summary of azelic acid. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so. Um, I also post a lot of skincare tips um, at 101.skin or my name, Dr. Davin Lim, at Instagram. So when we talk about azelic acid, um, this is a very, very common uh, anti-inflammatory prescribed by dermatologists uh, and can be used for various conditions, including things like rosacea, acne, and importantly, pigmentation as well. So azelic acid is derived um, naturally, so you can find it in wheat, barley, rye, but uh, in package formulations, it's obviously manufactured in the lab. So the concentrations range from 5% all the way up to 20%. Now, most uh, good formulations, because the stability of azelic acid is best in a gel. So most of the time you'll find it in a gel, sometimes you'll find it in a cream, sometimes you'll find it in a lotion, but most of the good stuff is in a gel formulation. Now, what does it actually do? Well, the two main things, it, it's actually anti-inflammatory. So when we talk about anti-inflammatory, it basically decreases the uh, decreases angry skin. So you can use it to treat acne, especially papular pustular acne, but you also can treat rosacea with it. The bonus about azelic acid is that um, it is super safe in pregnancy. So if you get hormonal acne, if you get acne in pregnancy, if you get rosacea in pregnancy, this is the our go-to. Um, so it's great for, um, like I said, it's great for acne. The other great thing about this compared to, for example, um, retinol, retinoids, or even, you know, all your different skincare acids is that it is very low irritant potential. The reason being, like I said, it's got anti-inflammatory properties, but the bonus is that it is very, very low in irritation. So if you get sensitive skin, you're starting at your skincare journey, if you've got sensitive skin, if you get, um, dermatitis, eczema, sebdermatitis, rosacea, flushing, blushing, um, just general skin sensitivities. If you don't tolerate anything, consider azelic acid. Like I said, it's um, our go-to for uh, sensitive skin. Now, the other thing which can be used for is uh, treating pigmentation. So pigmentation can be due to many things. The most common forms of pigmentation are melasma and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, or PIH for short. Now, PIH can be due to many, many conditions. The most common conditions are inflammatory. And the most common inflammatory condition that we see for PIH is actually acne. So it can be both beneficial for reducing acne lesions, decreasing inflammation, but also decreasing pigmentation. So consider this, um, consider azelic acid, yeah? Now, is it compatible with other um, skincare actives? The answer is most often it is. So, uh, for example, if you're using, just to give you an example, yeah, if you're using um, retinol or retinoic acid at night, you can use azelic acid half an hour before, or you can use it in the morning. If you're using uh, ascorbic acid, you might want to use ascorbic acid in the morning because it can help protect your skin. It's an antioxidant, but it also decreases pigmentation but you can combine that with azelic acid at night. So it is a very flexible compound. Um, yeah, there's, there's a joke among, lame joke among dermatologists that always say azelic acid is a, um, it's a compound waiting to treat a condition. So it's like a Swiss army knife, yeah? You can throw it at anything from melasma to rosacea to a whole heap and um, it may work. So when it comes to formulations, like I said, the gel is actually um, uh, more stable compared to things like lotions and, um, and serums. Uh, in Australia, you can buy this over the counter. So you can buy it from a 5% all the way up to 20%. The price isn't huge. You're looking at about 10 bucks US all the way up to 15, 16 dollars US. So it's not like you're investing a whole heap, um, but uh, it, it could be the first start of your skincare journey. Guys, I hope you like that short video. It's a really short video on uh, compounds. I'll go through more compounds over the next uh, couple of weeks, couple of months. Um, for you guys who haven't subscribed, please consider so. Uh, thanks for your attention. See you next time. Bye for now.